Hello, this is Mark Sidonio from learningexchange.ptc.com, and this tutorial is using the style feature to create a freeform surface. The first step is to click on the style button, and then click on the curve button. Now we want to create a spout shape at the top of the cylinder. The shape will consist of four curves. Two of them are going to be curves on surfaces, and the other two are going to be free curves. First, we're going to create the curves on surfaces, so we're just going to click on the create curves on surfaces button and we're going to put the first point at the edge of this surface and then we're just going to click again to create the second point and now we're just going to click on the scroll wheel to finish the curve. Now I'm going to create another curve on surface with one of the points being on the edge. Now I'm going to hold shift and click near the end of the other curve and it's going to snap to that corner. Now I'm going to click down on the scroll wheel to finish and click the check mark. Now I'm going to click on the curves button again. This time I'm going to add free curves. So I'm going to again hold down on the shift key and click down on this datum point. Now I'm going to hold down on the shift key to snap onto the point from the previous curve. Now I'm going to do this one more time. Hold down the shift key to snap onto this datum point and again hold onto the shift key to snap onto this end point of the curve. Now click OK. Now I'm going to highlight each of the curves and then click on surface. Now I'm just going to click OK. Now I want to make this surface tangent to my cylinder. So I'm first going to click on this curve, then click on curve edit. Now I'm going to click on the point where the surface meets the cylinder. And I'm going to click on the tangent button. And where it says constraints, I'm going to scroll down to surface tangent and click the check mark. Now I'm going to repeat this step, but just doing it on this curve. So I'm going to again click Curve Edit, select this point, click on Tangent, and set that to Surface Tangent, and click OK. Now I'm going to connect these two surfaces, so I'm going to click on the Surface Connect tool and highlight both of these surfaces. And where you see these dotted lines, it means there's currently no connection set. So I'm just going to double click on each of these lines to set a connection and click OK. Now I want to make these two points normal to this plane. So to do this, I'm just going to first click on this curve and click on Curve Edit. Now I'm going to click on this point, choose Tangent, and where it says Constraints, I'm going to make it normal, then choose the right plane. And notice it now made that curve normal to that plane. So I'm going to click OK. Now I'm going to do this again for this curve. So I'm going to click on this point, choose Tangent, under Constraints, click on Normal, and again click on the right plane, and click the check mark. Now my style is complete, so I'm just going to select OK. Now we're going to merge these two surfaces together, so we're going to highlight each surface, then click on the Merge tool, now we're going to click on Options, and it's already selected as Intersect. And I'm going to click on the glasses to preview the merge. And as you can see, it got rid of that unwanted part of the surface. So we're just going to click OK. The last step is we're going to highlight Merge, Style 1, and the surface. And we're going to click on Mirror. And it's asking us for a reference. And we're going to click this plane to be our mirror reference. And click OK. And that is we're able to use that style surface to make a nice little spout for the cylinder. Well, I hope you found this tutorial helpful. This is Mark Sidonio from learningexchange.ptc.com. Feel free to check out more Creo Parametric Tips and Tutorials at PTC University or at learningexchange.ptc.com.